It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Green Bay Packers. And it's all up next. And we come to you for one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. CD, it is officially a new era here in Green Bay. After a few years of Willie Woney with Aaron Rodgers, it is officially time to see Jordan Love quarterbacking the Green Bay Packers. And we'll find out what lessons he's absorbed along the way, how well he's mastered the playbook, the respect he's gained from his teammates in the locker room. We know that Love is in the air in Green Bay. The key is, what will Love do through the air? Then for the visiting Rams, you know, they found out the hard way that you need a lot of good fortune when you win a Super Bowl title. And when you don't get that good fortune as they did in last year, things can crash down to earth in a hurry. And none of us really saw this coming. Remember, they were 12 and five the year they won the Super Bowl. Went five and 12 last year. Somehow I think this Rams team is better than what we saw last season, adding in a lot of new pieces in order to try and get back to the top of the NFC West. Here's Anders Carlson set to get this one started, and we are underway here at Lambeau. Taken at about the one. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So here are the Rams set to go to work on offense, and they're led by a man who topped the 50,000-yard mark in passing for his career a season ago. In year 15 now, here's Matthew Stafford. Stafford, the Rams won it all in Super Bowl 56, but last season was a stark contrast to that. The Rams need their quarterback to recapture his form from two seasons ago to help spark another postseason run. A carry by Henderson to start the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. They'll go back to Henderson on first down. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. To throw is Stafford. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense, and now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play. On first and 10, Stafford. His throw incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. A give for Henderson running to the right. A little second effort there on the strong run. And then drop just inside of the 20. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge game. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. That is caught. Touchdown. 
19 yards away. And the Rams have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Extra point attempt to come here. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. A drive that time of six plays, and the result for the Rams, a touchdown. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So here are the new-look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season. Jordan Love. This is set up now to be the true beginning of Love's NFL career because he's finally out from under the shadow of Aaron Rodgers and Green Bay is giving him this season to prove he can be their starter. Four years after he was drafted in the first round, we'll find out if Love is the next decade-long starter for the Green Bay Packers. Love and the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Throwing, Love. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. To throw now, here's Love. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Well, Aaron Donald just so strong they can't block him. And he records the sack. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Here's Stafford. It's complete to Hopkins. That's good. The completion there for seven yards at its second down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and three. Now a play fake it at Stafford. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Stafford on third down. And that one to the right side and incomplete. All right, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. 
slipped up on their first series. They're definitely settling in now and letting it be known the points won't come so easy again. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. And the rookie Jaden Reed deep for the Packers. Fair catch called for and collected right at the 10-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. there and they'll be left with second and a couple that's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game and good for everyone good for his completion percentage good for the receptions for the receivers but you know how they work on that they have footballs with no laces so that as soon as you get the snap you're just throwing the football all right you're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way that takes time just get the ball and throw it so that's how they practice it all the time now too and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. So the completion there, Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him, because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. This second and four. Here's Love. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. Love going to give this one to Jones. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. From the 46, here's a second and four. Love. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 44-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now a first down carry by Jones. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 43 yards rushing for him now, just his first three carries. This has been a good drive so far. It's been a running game for the most part. Just powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picked up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Byron Young there on the stop. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. On second down, it's Jones. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. 
After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Love now. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Aaron Donald, now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the touchdown, called on to send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And the Rams getting set to go now. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here, and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll give this to Henderson. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. This defense tough to run against, and those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. So five yards here, five on the play. And now we've got a third and four. Now Stafford. And that nearly intercepted. Well, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to get the football back again. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe war down the other defense. We'll see. That's taken in by Watson. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring up second down. An inside give to Jones. Oh, nice move. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We are watching a runner having a really nice game. Carrying it very well. Vision is excellent, but boy, look at the help he's getting. Offensive line, I think they're pretty eager to block for him. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Boy, that was pretty. Sidestepping defenders on his way to a pickup of nine yards. 
A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. From the 42-yard line, here's second down at a yard. Now the fourth-year man from BC, it's A.J. Dillon. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot down. Feels a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Jordan Love ready on first down here. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Aaron Donald. What a start to this ball game. Still in the first quarter, and he now has three sacks on pace for double digits. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Second down, Love. This one into the hands of the rookie, Luke Musgrave. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it third and 13. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Love looking to throw it. It throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Throwing is Stafford. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack, and they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here comes the Rams punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat 
make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? The drive starts with a carry by Dillon. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. If they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Now Love. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Up the middle, Jones. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On third down, Love. He's going to let this go for the end zone. Touchdown, Packers. Christian Watson, 37 yards. And the Packers have taken the lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They manage to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that drive spanned five plays, and it was all capped off by a touchdown catch from Christian Watson. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. On second down, here's Stafford. They're on connect but a late flag comes in and the contact may have come too early so pass interference the call is so tough as a defender I'd imagine to time that up perfectly 
It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs when they have to officiate block and charge. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That burst good for 20 and a first down. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Stafford now to throw. Cooper Cup, and that one complete downfield to Cup. Touchdown, LA! Cooper Cup, 38 yards, and the Rams have retaken the lead. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well, they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. Now the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with Cooper Cup on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Packers all set to go again. That means we'll see Christian Watson. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job increase things more touches more opportunities maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them they'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter they'll start the drive with a carry by jones and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield and it appears we've got a member of the rams shaken up on that last play the medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Here's Jones again on second down, and he'll take this to about the 24, a gain of three. This offense so far on third down, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. On now is the Packers punter as he's on here to punt it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. So possession goes over here on the punt and the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. This offense and Daryl Henderson ready to go for another series. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 46. He'll throw from the gun. Throw here is incomplete. 
think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple of touchdown passes, almost threw his first interception, but he's throwing it so well, I think Lady Luck was on his side. Back to the air, Stafford on second down. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, they approach this drop with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw, Stafford. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Here's Ethan Evans now. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Darian Kendrick brings him down. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Here's a second and eight. Again, it's Jones. And they'll get him down here at the 23. 75 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. A give to Jones. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Switching things up, they'll throw it now with Jordan Love. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Throwing. Love. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. So a change of possession here on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They'll run with Henderson here to begin the drive. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Here's Stafford now on second down. 
Pass complete there to Nakua. The alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Off a of play action. Here's Stafford. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. And he was trying to get it to 2 2 Atwell there, and now it's second down. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. That'll be caught. It's caught. And he's going to be out of bounds here all the way down inside the 10. A big play there for L.A. 41 yards. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover him. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. He's got Higby complete right side. Only a yard of the completion. It's second and goal. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Make that now three first half touchdown passes for Matthew Stafford. And the Rams are able to add on to that lead. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. This fielded right at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. Love. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. Yeah, he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball. But I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can. And that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. Dylan now on first and 10. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. They work now on second and nine. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 
15 yards, first down Packers. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Play action this time with Love on the move to his left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a halt. Eight yards to go on second down. To throw now, here's Love. This is caught, it's Christian Watson. And this is gonna be another first down as the tackle's gonna be made at the Rams 20 yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. First down, going to the air with Love. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Aaron Donald, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Here's Love. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep him off the scoreboard here. Third and long for Love. Complete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. And his kick is good. And that'll make this an eight point game. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. back out there now to send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Well, the Rams going to take over late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Stafford. And this one nearly picked off. Kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. On second and 10, Stafford. Open man right side is cut complete. And he'll be dropped at the 36. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18.
Henderson now on first and 10. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've come to halftime. It's the visiting Rams taking the lead to the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Packer offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. On first and 10, Love. He'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Love now to pass on first down. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21 from the shotgun. A give to Jones. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Love now. Trouble and he's taken down. Aaron Donald. My goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now the attention turns back to the Rams' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Now 
Matt Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Stafford to his number one guy, Cup, for Los Angeles first. Up the middle, here's Henderson. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second down and six. Again, it's Henderson. And he'll get it down here to the 43. 72 yards on the ground for Henderson as this will be a first down as well. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. To the right side, this is Henderson. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. Devondre Campbell, the one who fought his way in there to make the play. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. From the gun again to Henderson. Three yards on the pickup there, but they've only got it back to third and 10. mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted and the Packers are going to take over at their own 28 yard line so this offense moving the ball well trying to open up a two score lead here in the third quarter but now potentially a play that could have big ramifications yeah you've driven the ball down the field things are looking up but it takes just one bad decision to throw things off the rails the Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. That's complete to Downs. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Love gonna give this one to Jones. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Darian Kendrick. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Boy, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. And we get a look at Cooper Cup as the Rams offense gets ready to take over possession. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? 
but it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Henderson running straight ahead. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw pulled in by Atwell here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first and 10, Stafford. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Freeman is going backwards as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Two things to watch. First is strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. Henderson not going anywhere. He'll lose a couple back to the six. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Now Stafford on third and goal. That's caught at the one. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. A gain of five, but not enough, leads to a fourth and goal. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down, and he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. On fourth down, Stafford. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Fourth touchdown pass of the game for Matthew Stafford. And the Rams' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is up to 15 now. So this drive spans seven plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fighting his way through contact. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Holding, receiving team. Yeah, why are we doing this? They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard but it's tough to simulate game speed in practice and that often runs you into a penalty. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. He'll complete this one to Watson. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Line. 
On play action. Love to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Darian Kendrick, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one, or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Here comes Matthew Stafford now to lead his offense back out there. He continues to just torch this defense. Perfect on the last drive, including his fourth touchdown pass of the game. Similar to hitters that are in that great zone in baseball, and they say the ball looks bigger when it's approaching the plate and they're smacking it around. I think for him, the windows to throw into are wide open. Doesn't matter whether they're tight or not. He feels like it's wide open, puts it in there, Four touchdown passes. He thinks he's going to throw a whole lot more before this one's over. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. He finds Hopkins complete. It'll be a gain of five, third and seven now. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Stafford. To the sideline and incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And his kick is indeed good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. kickoff team on the field and here we go with the ball in the air and he takes this near the 25 just a little pass there call it the 26 Green Bay's offense ready to go again they're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control let's see if they can get things back on track and this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. I had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this too shall pass, this too shall pass, and finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass, and that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give them a lot of confidence to help turn things around. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. They'll go again to Jones. And he is going to lose yardage here. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. That's two really good stops in a row. Back-to-back -back tackles for losses. I mean, let's face it. They are locked in to what they're doing offensively, and now they've earned the right to rush the passer on third down, haven't they? Yeah, and offensively, they're going to have to do something else because the run game, at least on this drive, isn't working. 
Now this aired out deep for Reed. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On now is the Packers punter, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Back now at Lambeau. It's the Rams out in front here. They've got control of the football as well as we get set for the fourth quarter. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. Pass complete there to Nakua. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Out of the gun, they give to Henderson. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Again, it's Henderson. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Love. That incompletion brings us one step closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though, no surprise, they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing. Love. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try to throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. The Packers on third down. Not getting the job done at all. A very poor one for 10. This is third and 10. 
to pass. Here's Jordan Love. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. On now is the Packers punter as he's on to kick it away. Forty-two yards on the punt, just two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. L.A. readies for its next possession. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Play action. Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. They call it a loss of a yard there. And it'll leave them with third and a full yard to go. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Henderson will try to run for the first. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Fourth down now after a loss of two. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. Here comes the Rams punter now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And that is very well done there, as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Ernest Jones there for the tackle. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Love now on second down. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. On third down, Love. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. At this point, I think it's a surprise when he isn't close to being sacked on a passing down. The amount of times he's hit the deck today, I think a lot of us are reading safety before they even took the snap. Simply a merciless pass rush every step of the game, and that rush earns a crowning achievement there. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt.
Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at the 34. He'll give this to Henderson, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. On second down, back to Henderson. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Third down and one. Here's Stafford. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. First down, love to pass. This one swung out here to Jones. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Here's Love. Now this aired out deep for Reed. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak. And while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close. But the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. A second down throw for Love. That to the right sideline. And it falls incomplete. Romeo Dobbs is intended receiver, and it's third down. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down in the process. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Here's second and 10. Love looking to throw it. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. 
and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Been a very strong performance for them, really on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. They'll run with Henderson here to begin the drive. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. The offense on third down, they've been stymied left and right, converted only one time. This will be third and five. Now Stafford. And that will be incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through and was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they gave up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for them. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Love now. That'll be caught right side by Reed. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? 
Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Now Love. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw now, here's Love. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 39. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And now they're in the hurry up. To the air again, Love. Open man is Musgrave, the tight end. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Love now to pass on first down. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Romeo Dobbs from 21 yards away. And the Packers go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But... This one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, I agree with you totally on that one. Carlson's extra point up and good, and that cuts this lead down to 13. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And the Rams have got it. And that should just about seal this one. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them and field position leads you to that type of play calling and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep those types of things now that they've given up that type of field position the advantage is switched to their opponent
The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here, and never an easy thing to do, no matter how good Green Bay is, what the year is, to come into Lambeau and get the victory, but they did it. You're not just battling the team that you're playing that day. You're not just battling the crowd that's in attendance in that game. You're battling the history of the franchise. You're battling the ghosts that swirl around that place that help spur them on to victory. It is 